Hello again everyone, Edwin Laird back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about uh, the transit uh, moon making a square opposition or in conjunct to one's natal ascendant. Now when we're talking about transits that involve the moon, this could be about emotions, feelings, our needs, uh, responses, reactions, even uh, the public. Now, when the transit moon it is basically making an adverse aspect to the natal ascendant, a square opposition, or even an in conjunct to uh, the natal ascendant, while this may manifest in the emotions, the feelings, um, what we uh, what we need, our responses, our reactions, and uh, the public may conflict uh, with our outer. Uh, demeanor if you're like a salesman or something where you're outside you're working with the public this might not be the most auspicious time for selling because there might be something with what you're projecting outwardly that the public might have a problem uh, with I mean if you say if you're a Senate as Sagittarius as an example you might be overly exuberant or enthusiastic in selling something and maybe people might uh, perceive that is that you're you're building something up more maybe than it needs to be and you're you know you're being fallacious somehow as an example now the thing about um, this as well the ascendant is also connected with our it's, it's also about our appearance the ascendant is does dominate the appearance and it might be something where we might not always feel at this time because the moon is connected with feelings. You know, as far as feeling like getting our appearance up to par, I mean, say if the ascendant is in Virgo, it may simply be being uh, not dressing, you know, perfect, perfectly or meticulously as much as you want. You might not be overly concerned about having you know, your shirt completely tucked in if the transit moon is in Pisces and it's opposing it then you're talking about you know you're feeling might be feeling a little bit more lethargic at this time and feel more like daydreaming than you do about what you want to do in terms of your appearance now the ascendant is also the outlook as well so the, the fact that the, the moon is about you know our feelings our moods how we feel at the time you might be feeling, you know, the fact that it's making, you're talking about basically an adverse aspect by transit to the natal ascendant, it might make your outlook maybe a little bit more negative at this time. Say if the, cat, the ascendant is in Capricorn, it might be more pessimistic and more even more negative than it generally uh, would be. Now, the thing about this as well is that, uh, keep in mind, the transit does not last really that long. You're talking about transits of the moon, and you're... The transit itself will last about 10 hours roughly because the moon you're talking about a three degree applying aspect and a two degree separating uh, aspect and the thing about that is the moon is going to move about one degree every two hours so for five degrees that's 10 hours it's not really uh, that long and it's really sometimes the effects might be subtle or there might be barely noticeable and in many instances you'll have this transit take place when you're sleeping so uh, anyway the thing about this too is I mean the ascendant is the qualities that we naturally and readily express so it might be you know what's going on you know inside you know the, the moon and how you're feeling at this time on an emotional level may conflict with what you're actually projecting uh, outwardly, which of course is the ascendant. Again, going back to the ascendant being in Sagittarius as an example, you might appear maybe more jocular and jovial than otherwise uh, indicated how you feel um, in contrast to how you feel. The ascendant is also associated with our early childhood. So it might be a time where you might be, and, and the fact that the moon is connected with our past, our memories, it might be negative memories that might be coming up from you know, during the time when you were very young, and it might be, I mean, if it's say if this is uh, if this is transpiring when you're sleeping, it can be where you might be having some dreams about those uh, experiences at that time that weren't really, you know, maybe the best experiences. Now, the Ascendant is also associated with new beginnings. So it might be a time where you simply just don't feel like starting anything at this time. And remember that the transit does not last very long anyway. You're looking at about uh, 10 hours 
So when the transit ends, and especially when you get like a transit, like a sex transit sex style of the moon to the natal ascendant, that's when you might really feel more up emotionally to begin um, new things uh, at that time. Say if the ascendant is in Gemini, it might be manifold things or doing things that require manual dexterity or something connected with communication. Um, now the ascendant is also connected with the grandparent as well so you might be dealing you know, with the grandparent that might be a little bit moody or temperamental at this time or um or you know they might be expressing you know some maybe negative uh emotions or you simply may not be up emotionally for doing maybe activities uh with this person a uh, the ascendant is also associated with the physical body now, in some cases, I mean, the transit does not, I know the transit does not last that long, but keep in mind that the moon, I mean, you know, is connected, you know, anatomically speaking with the chest, the breast, the stomach area. It may be in also the left or the right eye, depending on gender. So there might be some, you know, mild eye issue that doesn't really last that long, say if it's uh you have the transit moon in Aquarius. It might be some intermittent issue with the eye at this, with one eye at this time that might be bothering you, but may not last uh, very long. The um, the ascendant is also connected with the vitality and the energy uh, of the person. And the thing is, you might not really, you might not feel like doing things that require expending an overabundance of energy at this time you might feel maybe more like you know laying down resting it could be just daydreaming relaxing at this time as opposed to actually doing something physically remember that the moon is connected with the unconscious so you might feel more like it might be more like sleeping as opposed to actually doing something In many cases you will be sleeping during this time anyway now another thing is uh, is that this could be a situation too. I mean, keep in mind the ascendant is connected, you know, with our uh, our first impressions. So you might not always feel like making, you know, putting putting the energy in to making that good first impression on somebody at this time. And and another thing too is the ascendant is about our defense mechanisms. So. What could happen in some cases when you have this transit, it might be reacting sensitive, more sensitive to something which might bring out a uh, very adverse or negative, like a defense mechanism, which might be seen as negative. Say if your ascendant is in Taurus, it might be bringing out more obstinate, stubborn qualities in terms of resisting something at this time. Now, another thing too, another way this may manifest and pan out is that uh, it could be a mother, a family member uh, may conflict with you making new starts. Uh, it could be, say, if the ascendant is in Taurus, going back to the zodiac sign Taurus, it might be something, uh, doing something that requires a lot of self-reliance. It might be something Taurus-related like banking or financing, accounting, starting a position as a stockbroker, investing in stocks, a pawnbroker, Anything that could be connected, uh, something with endurance, Taurus is you know, about is the sign associated with endurance. It could be endurance running, even weightlifting, uh, where one can work out very methodically, which is what Taurus rising often will do if they are working out. Now, also, too, in some cases, the past and the memories, which are the moon, may adversely affect your outer demeanor and what you're projecting outwardly. Say, if the transit moon is in Aries and the ascendant is in Cancer, all this may manifest in, in might be some kind of emotional battles or battles that affected you very strongly emotionally from your past and your memories, which are the moon, and the emotional battles are moon and Aries might be causing maybe some outward brooding, pouting, lamenting, uh, which is the ascendant being in cancer, uh, and also in very strong emotional energy outwardly, which could be the cancer ascendant. Now, another thing too, another way that this transit may be expressed is that the situation with the mother, a family member, which is the moon, or even someone you're close to home with, which is connected with the moon. Hold on a moment, people.
the situation with one of those people I mentioned and a grandparent, say if it could be a situation again with a mother, family member, someone you're close to home with, which is connected with the moon, and a grandparent may be a little bit more um, contentious than usual. Um, and the thing about, I mean, this transit too is, uh, and it might be, you know, say if the energy you know, is connected with Capricorn versus uh, the zodiac sign Cancer, it could be matters pertaining to one's career, their business in relation to them, maybe being at home, there might be some adversarial energy connected with that. Uh, it might be, it could also be in some cases uh, issues with the chest, the breast, the stomach issue um, at this time, which could be connected, associated with the moon anatomically that may adversely affect your vitality at this time and energy which of course is associated with the ascendant even if the say if the ascendant is in a very you know the inexorable sign of leo it may or near an exorable sign of leo there still may be a negative effect on the energy level at this time due to something uh an issue associated with the moon physical issue associated with the moon now Another thing, too, and you might not, as I was stating before, I reiterated that you may not feel, which is the moon, you may not feel like expending that energy into the appearance and making a first impression or even new beginnings at this time. Say if the ascendant is an Aquarius, it might be new beginnings connected with innovation, astronomy, astrology, computers, or electronics as some examples. Anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Ernest saying stay well.